Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna, and today we got a pretty special unboxing, one that I've been waiting to do for a while, and it really has to do with the setup I have right here using Wirecast, uh, and should really accentuate and improve that setup when doing things on location like I plan to do, uh, especially tomorrow I plan on doing hopefully the uh, fitness show, the fitness Q&A live uh, from Snap Fitness in Fishhawk, Florida. And in the future, next month, in June, Colm and I, from uh, the T4 live show on Wednesdays nights at 9 o'clock, Colm and I will be doing a live show from Orlando, Florida, if not at least recorded. Uh, we're going to try to do it live if we have an internet connection. If we do not, we will record our live show that we do almost every Wednesday night, except for this past Tuesday and next Tuesday, which is Colm's anniversary, so... Happy anniversary to you, Colm. And we will be using this item that I'm unboxing today, not for the anniversary, for the uh, for the live shows and stuff. So it's called a, um, a Juice Link CX-231. There's the battering unboxing knife. As you can tell, this is not the first take. Uh, you can see the model number here. It's a Juice Link CX-231. And uh, I, I was torn between this and the Beach Tech XLR adapter, and that's basically what this is, an XLR adapter, so I can plug microphones such as my Heil PR40, which I'm going to come back here. This is a dynamic microphone, but also it can take uh, mics that need phantom power, like my MXL microphones are all condenser microphones, so this particular accessory has phantom power as well, has a uh, high, mid, and low gain settings. That's pretty cool. I'm going to bring you to the product page here bring it back up that's what it looks like but we're going to take it out in a second as you can see on the side 48 volt and 12 volt phantom power two xlr balanced inputs also has a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, like my road video mic has three gain settings that's uh, gain settings that's the high mid and low attenuator control dials mounts to the camera bottom uh, i got nine volt batteries already i believe and 16 hours. It's got pretty good reviews, four and a half stars. A little expensive at $299, but I had some PayPal credit, so I was able to just pay very minimal amount for this uh, particular accessory. So we're going to go back to the Logitech uh, C910. I'm going to take this out here. And BH Photos is pretty cool, man. I got two day shipping for probably around five or six bucks, and that is not too bad. And there is for some reason an allen wrench i'll have to hold on to that and here is a 3.5 cable let's see what cable uh yeah it's 3.5 mini output uh cable so and this is the actual thing you see how much more portable this would be than a mackie pro fx8 now i do have a gig box that can um that can carry the uh, Pro FX8 and all my equipment but there's going to be times like with the boom mic that i have off camera here that I may want to try that. And I might turn to the FaceTime HD camera here and so I can show you. Here's your two XLRs. Now I would plug my Heil PR40 or my MXL V89 or the Shure SM58 that I plan to get for Colm for next month's live show. We had to, we pretty much would need two dynamic, dynamic microphones so our sound is not bleeding over each other and probably going to be in a pretty noisy area as well. So let's see here. It's the first time opening it. So the pretty cool here, since I was talking about dynamic microphones, you can see that you can either go phantom power, 12 volt, or completely off. And I, I don't know if I need to give 12 volt just to get enough power to power the uh, XLR adapter or if I can just plug it in and make it be in the off position. Also, you have uh, channel one and channel two on and off over there. And also you can pan. Now, I'm not quite sure of the settings. So, and there's the mic level out. I guess that might be for the microphone monitoring. So you can use the headset jack for that. And uh, these will be... Here we go. This is very important right here, especially with my unique voice. You have the preamp gain with the high, medium, and low. And also, you have a dial. There you go. It's opposite. You have a dial right there to basically, I guess, adjust it even more as far as the gain on each XLR. Where is it? 
<laughs> there it is, XLR input there. So on this side too, lift to withdraw. Very easy battery compartment here. That's where the nine volt battery goes. So just right through here and goes right in there very easily. And as you can see on the bottom, this would be where you would attach the uh, camera on this side. And then on the other side is where you would mount this onto your tripod. So a pretty portable. And I also have, oh, it has a, this is pretty cool. Um, nice. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at the bottom it actually has a nice little set of instructions on the box. There was no instructions really on the juice link, but there's instructions actually on the device, the accessory itself. I think that's really nice. And also there's a uh, switch for mic line, channel one, channel two. I can go mic or line on that. And I have to read the instructions to see. Consult manual online for safety guidelines. Turn trim down on channels with unused input. Uh, it pretty much gives you all the directions. I mean, somehow I'll mess it up anyway, but very nice. So go back to the product page here. It is the Juiced Link CX-231 audio mixer uh, and preamplifier for your camcorders. And you can pretty much hook up dynamic and condenser microphones, it looks like. Uh, I will test it out, and tomorrow will be a live test, I assume. And that is about it. So for everybody here at the T4 Show, thank you, and best of luck in all your future Juiced Link endeavors.